Hi everyone, this is Matt from the MRP Tech Podcast, and today I have a quick app pick for you. And the app that I choose to talk about today is called Space Rocket First Stage Landing Simulator. For those of you who are SpaceX fans, you can download this game on iOS and Android. And it's basically simulating the Falcon 9 rocket re-entry and landing on either drone ships or in land themselves. So you can find them on, on the App Store in iOS and also the Google Play Store for Android as well. And I have not tried it on Android, but I have tried it on a iPhone 6S and iPad Mini 2. And if you know anything about SpaceX, you know that they are currently striving for reuse and reusability of rockets that travel into low Earth orbit and then return either landing on land or a platform out in the ocean. And as you first open up this game, you're going to see a nice view of the drone ship out in the ocean and... Graphics are um, usually better on more powerful devices, such as iPhone 6S. Um, for this purposes, I'm actually using an iPad Mini 2, and I and I also uh, run into some issues with the video uh, program that I'm using to capture all of the videos. So you have some options. You can deal with volume and resolution and various other um, settings that will make gameplay more beneficial to you. Now, the one thing that I ran into are the ads in this program. It is a free download, and before you begin play, you must unlock all of the different stages by watching an ad. And every so often as you play, you will also receive uh, uh, an ad interrupt to pay for the app itself. So your object is to basically re-land a rocket um, on a drone platform using left and right controls and uh, a booster fire. And if you miss, uh, you're either going to end up in the ocean or you're going to uh, end in a fiery demise if you uh, aren't careful uh, in calculating wind speed and everything else. And you gain points based on your accuracy. So your, your object is to land as close to the middle as you possibly can and leave the rocket standing without exploding. So as time goes on, you'll tend to be able to hone in your skills a little bit and be much better and much more accurate at these rocket landings as time goes on. And you get scored based on what you want. So here in this case, the, the developer really paid attention to the SpaceX apps because that was very similar to an accident that um, happened on one of the experimental landings and exploded and one leg fell off. So it's kind of fun to watch. Now here, as you start zoning in, you start to develop your skills and then if you hit a bullseye, you get an accuracy bonus of 20 points plus fuel bonus as well for how much fuel you have left over. And it actually gets to be quite addicting, especially when you want to watch things blow up. Now this game is in the very early stages, no pun intended. Um, and I can see that there could be a lot more uh, involved with this game for uh, potential future additions or more fun gameplay. Um, one of the other stages that you have, you can actually return to land, as, as you might see SpaceX do at Cape Canaveral. And you can um, hit two different targets, a small target and a big target. Again, aiming for the middle, hitting the bullseye. And if you're not careful, once again, you end in a fire demise. So it's kind of fun. And there are four stages right now. And as you get into the more difficult stages, you have to uh, challenge the wind, uh, wind speed at ground level, as well as your fuel economy over time. And I wasn't exactly uh, sure how much I was going to like this game, but it's a, it is a fun game if you have a few minutes to kill and you just want to uh, play a game and, and see what you can do and how accurate you can be. I have left a review for this app and uh, one of the things that I recommended is uh, instead of just having the landing, having a full launch and stage one separation, as well as the return to the drone ship or the landing, and as well as um, maybe adding th future things from SpaceX, such as the interplanetary transport system, maybe landing on the moon or on Mars or anywhere else, giving you different stages to, to land on, having different gravities. It'd be kind of a, a neat little thing. All in all, uh, for this 
a very simple iOS app. It is fun to play. It is really fun to give it a shot, and uh, it can be very addicting as time goes on. And you have various different angles uh, to look at um, to help you land these rockets with the videos in the upper right-hand corner and left-hand corners to help you guide the rockets into a landing. That's it for my quick iOS app pick of the Space Rocket First Stage Landing Simulator. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time.